Welcome back! Our following class is usually called the class for meditation. It requires less focus and more time and a lot of pleasure. However, first I would like to show you a couple of tips on our previous lesson. And for that we need to arm a thin needle and pass the thread through. Remember that in the previous class we devoted it to the Indian technique of embroidery where we've placed two beads followed by a sequin. And there are cases when you can aim the same effect of embroidery as an Indian technique but using the classic French method of embroidery. So here is an intrigue, so let me better show you what I mean. Remember that previously we've placed two beads followed by a sequin. Let's play the same game. Put two beads followed by one sequin on the needle. And watch what I do next. Remove your needle and place the threaded bobbin under the frame. Make a lock and supply two beads and a sequin, binding them with a netting in the same frequency as in the previous lesson, after each four or five holes. The less is the frequency, the more standing your sequences will become. So it's completely up to you. So I'm placing two beads and one sequin together. Thus, now you are aware of some secrets that may help you in any future. There we go. And now let us begin the promised meditation lesson. Hereby I have a variety of accessories that are I'm randomly placing on the thin needle. And now let me show you the principles of winding or coil techniques. Before we were making straight and boring stitches, but now I want you to practice your hand by sewing spirals or serpentines. Practice your hand on any free space of the frame and next we will apply this method on our pattern. You may see that my chain is absolutely disorderly and multifarious. Again I place the bobbin under the frame. And start beading between the ellipse and the rhombus. The secret of its delicacy look is that I will place a bead or a sequin after each second stitch. Important to slightly touch the borders but never cross them.
Keep bonding the accessories on after each second loose stitch. Once in a while you may face the situation when your thread or accessories on that thread has finished and there is another tip how to avoid making additional locks. So I cut the thread and repeat the process of setting beads and sequences on the needle once more. Then I take both edges and just simply link them together. Empty the accessories to the old thread and continue beading. At the point you met the loose edges, simply pass them over and secure it later. Like this, I'm finishing my embroidery. Like this, the embroidery is completed and I sincerely hope that you enjoyed your work. Photograph it and send it to me along with your comments or questions if you have.